Hey guys, welcome to a new episode. So, we've done our favorite stays in SA. We've done our favorite stays in WA. Now, we're gonna talk about our favorite stays in the Northern Territory. Yeah, we didn't stay as long in the Northern Territory as we did in the other states. So, I think we ended up being there almost a month in total. Yeah, almost a month. And we had some longer stops while we were there as well. So we probably, we didn't stay at as many places as we have been um, so that's why for this episode, we're just going to go through our top five places we stayed while we were touring the NT. Yeah, we thoroughly enjoyed our time in the NT and, um, and we had some great stays. Yeah. So without further hesitation, shall we go to number five? Let's get to it. Okay, number five was Discovery Park Starwin. Yeah, so... There wasn't anything too amazingly special about Discovery Park Darwin. Uh, it was your, just your regular caravan park, but mm -hmm. it was just a really nice place. Uh, what got it into the top five for us was uh, we had a really, really good site while we were there. Um, I think it was site number 28, if anyone's interested. <laughs> can't remember but uh, we were right at the back really back in the corner yeah uh, and it was a really private and secluded uh, spot which um, was just perfect for our stay in Darwin yeah I felt like they it's a very family friendly caravan park mm -hmm. and I felt like they actually allocated sort of different areas to people with kids and not because yeah. the area that we were in had no children whatsoever there were a few dogs mm. but no kids Whereas yeah. I felt that the families had been put up near the swimming pools. Mm. So I, I wonder whether that was intentional, maybe. Yeah. And um, But because of that, it meant there were no kids running past our van. No, it was, it, it, we were in the far corner, you know, we got the awning out. It felt really private. Yeah, it was a really good spot. And I mean, the caravan park itself was really nice as well. It has two mm. swimming pools, so not many uh, places have two swimming pools. That was really good. Uh, and the amenities were really spotless and clean and uh, always pretty empty, to be honest, considering it was pretty busy there. Yeah, and then on different nights, they had different food vans mm. that came and parked in sort of the little bus stop that was in there as well. Yeah, yeah. So it was like a, it's just a really nice place. We ended up staying a week there mm. um, and it was just nice to relax, especially it was when we got our second COVID jab as well. So yeah. it was good to be private and we were feeling a bit ropey. So it was just... It was just what we needed at that point in time. Yeah, it was a, it was a great location, mm. and um, yeah, it was a good stay. the The pricing was a little bit tricky, yeah. so the caravan park seems to have sort of dynamic pricing or strange offers. And um, we've worked out that we spent about forty two dollars a night while we were there. Yeah, but it, some some nights were more expensive, some were really yeah. cheap. So it was different price every almost every night which was really frustrating yeah it was a bit confusing especially because we extended our stay yeah. so that price is inclusive of our good day parks uh discounts as well yeah i think the only other cons were on a friday saturday night we were there it was pretty noisy like there was some kind of festival or something going on nearby oh, yeah. but mm. you know it is what it is uh and the only thing other thing for me is it was probably a little far out of darwin city center which is a con but it's also good because it, it meant we were nice and safe but yeah it was probably 15 to 20 minutes to get into town yeah it was just around the corner from the rodeo though yeah that's true <laughs> but otherwise it was a great spot and that's yeah. why it got number five all right so our number four place we stayed at in the nt was somewhere where we booked really late notice we actually <laughs> booked it like 6 p.m and got there mm. at 6 30 and that was mambaloo homestead in uh, it was just outside of catherine yeah, we were actually supposed to stay somewhere else the following night. Mm. Arrived the night early because of our car issues and ended up cancelling the other place because we liked it so much there. Yeah, and why did we like it? It was just a nice homestead. Like it was mm. amongst a little forest, massive yeah. trees around, really shady, large sites that were really flat, um, really, really quiet and really safe there as well because Catherine can be a little dodgy in the city. Um, so it was just, it was such a nice surprise and we mm. weren't expecting it, were we? Yeah. It, I mean, it was quite hot at the time in mm. Catherine. So just having so much tree coverage really kept the whole area nice and cool. Yeah, exactly. And look, uh, I don't think the amenities were great. They were pretty old and dated, but, uh, mm. they did the job, but 
you know, that was probably my big issue with that caravan park in particular. Yeah, there are a few sort of little lizards in the, yeah, in lots the of, loos. Lots of cane toads around as well. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, and it was a little expensive, like $36 a night. It was probably, you know, a little expensive for what it was. But having said that, it was such a nice spot and, yeah. you know, it, we did love it there. Yeah, I took Archie for a couple of walks in the morning while we were there and you got to see them feeding the cows and mm. there were horses there as well. So yeah. just, yeah, really nice, uh, a really nice feel. Yeah, and it, it was a good base for us to explore Catherine mm. uh, and the town and the hot springs and you went out to the national park. So yeah. It was a good base to yeah, explore. It was only 10 to 15 minutes drive, I reckon, out of the town. Yeah. So, yeah, Mambalu Homestead, definitely worth uh, going to if you're in the area. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's why I got our number four. On to number three. Our number three stay in the Northern Territory was Temple Bar at Sally Springs. Yeah, this is a really, really nice little campground. It's a bit further out of the city, so it was mm. totally safe. We felt really safe staying there and leaving our caravan there while we explored the area. Uh, and it was literally just at the foothills of the massive ranges there. Um, so we just had an amazing backdrop uh, of the yeah. caravan park. The view is incredible. And because it was on the side of Alice Springs of the West McDonnell Ranges, mm. it was actually quicker to get into the West Max as well from there. Yeah, if you want to explore the West Max from there, you're literally halfway there already. So. Um, yeah, stunning spot. The the sites were drive through. They were really, really big as well. Mm. Uh, and you know, a massive bonus for us was that it was the first time we'd actually seen grass for a while. Yeah. Um, so the whole caravan park had loads of amazing green grass, which Archie absolutely loved. He did. And uh, and yeah, it was just a really nice spot, wasn't it? Yeah. They, there was also a dry creek bed there that was mm. owned by the caravan park. So. Um, the owners or the caretaker suggested that we took Archie down there for a walk so where we could leave it you know take him off his lead and he could have a bit of a run around mm. so that was that was really handy and you know we can't forget it was really good value yeah yeah I mean $24 a night um, is an absolute bargain now yeah. it's kind of with a little bit of an asterisk because you've got to pay for power on top of that so we stayed for four nights, I think we stayed for, mm -hmm. and we paid $15 for power across those four nights. So, um, you know, it works out to be like $28. Yeah, so up front they charge you $15 for power, mm. and then when you leave, you either pay, you either get a refund or you get asked to pay a bit more depending yeah. how much power you've used. I'm surprised there's not more places that do that because it worked mm. really well, and had we not used all the power, we would have got a few bucks back. Um, yeah. But I think my, my main con for that area was that um, the amenities weren't fantastic. They were a bit, they felt a bit temporary. Yeah, they felt a bit like a porter cabin. Yeah, almost. a bit like a porter yeah. cabin. And, uh, mm -hmm. you know, they had all their bins out the front there near the amenities, which, you know, stank as you walk by them. So that, that's not ideal. They could find a better spot for that. Mm -hmm. um, but other than that, yeah, yeah, great spot. Great spot. And, you know, the backdrop there is just oh, sensational beautiful it really was yeah all right we're up to the top two now business end our number two favorite stay in nt was daily waters pub yes what a unique place yeah. i mean daily waters it's a pub but it was also the center of the little village yeah uh, i mean we went there just to check it out have a drink maybe have some lunch and we got there and we thought it was so cool and so quirky we're like we need more. So we stayed the night there and absolutely loved it. Yeah, it had so much character. Um, not only the caravan park, but just all of the... Um, memorabilia mem and junk. Is it? Yeah, I was going to say. Junk. It. I'm not sure I could call it memorabilia. Yeah, it's not just memorabilia, stuff. is it? Stuff. Stuff. <laughs> old stuff yeah but everyone puts things in the bar so we you know we spent an hour exploring that seeing mm -hmm. what we could find and there was live and, music in yeah. the evening yeah and they have their famous beef and barra night which um we didn't have we ordered stuff off the menu but the food was really good mm. to be in the middle of nowhere i couldn't believe how good the food was what did you have you had a palma yeah i had a palma yeah and yeah. i had the veggie options so. yeah it was delicious and yeah it was really good a few drinks we listened to the uh live entertainment which was it was okay it was a bit of a laugh um but there was loads of people there and it just made the atmosphere 
amazing. Yeah, and Tim Carter, who owns the place, um, is a real character too, mm. and, and he had his uh, pregnant horse walking through the bar in the evening. Yeah, exactly. So it's just random stuff like that. It's just you're constant. You're there, and you're surprised every turn <laughs> yeah. in that place. Yeah, there's a there's a saltwater crocodile yeah. pet Kevin, that you can go and see. Kevin, Kevin. the salty. Yeah, there's the uh, the junk museum that you can take a mm. look at. So it's Which has the Australia's largest collection of barbed wire. Mm. Mm. <laughs> but yeah, it, I mean, the caravan park itself wasn't anything special. Yeah. Uh, you know, the sites were flat, but it was just kind of pick your own site in the middle of a field. Um, it was, uh, the amenities there were pretty, they were like... Well, they were port cabins, They were port cabins they? as well. But so. there were those little, they were the ensuite style, where they're just lots of doors, and then yeah. within each one there's a toilet, a shower, and a, a wash basin. Yeah, so I mean, that that's definitely the big con for the place, like... It's, it, they're still putting a lot of money in developing it, so we can see that they're still working on it. But just yeah. the, the vibe and the atmosphere and yeah. the quirkiness and the, just the coolness of the pub, it's just awesome. Yeah, so if you want to use the Caravan Park swimming pool, you actually have to walk through the pub to get to the swimming pool. Yeah, yeah. There's actually, I think there's two swimming pools there as well, so in the same spot. Oh, there. Yeah, so... Mm. But yeah, if you're ever in the region, if not staying, you absolutely have to go to Daily Waters. It's almost like a an Australiana Disneyland. Yeah, it's just, <laughs> it, you know, if you're an Aussie and you're in the area, you got to get there and check it out. It's it's a non-negotiable. But So Daily Waters was $32 for the night. Pretty reasonable. Um, look, it wasn't, like I said, flashy, but for the atmosphere and everything, mm. worth every dollar. Yeah, just good fun. Now, on to our favourite. Our number one. Yeah, where was that, Chris? It was Banyan Tree, just, oh, a, just Banyan outside Tree. Litchfield National Park, and it was, oh, it was lovely. It was just lovely. It really yeah. was. It had a lot of the features that we've already mentioned for the other places, yeah. actually. Yeah. So it was beautifully shaded, and, um, and tall trees, its... lots of shade. The sites were massive and lots of space. It was kind of a cross between Manbalu and a little bit of Daily Waters <laughs> thrown in there. Just because it had an awesome bar and yeah. a lovely happy hour. And we spent hours in that because it was just such a nice place to chill out. Yeah, it really was. The The bar had so much personality. The mm. owners were really friendly. Yep. Uh, there were animals all over the place. So, yeah, there was a little um, herd of goats that wandered around and, yep. and a couple of horses. Some and, chickens by yeah. the pool. Yeah, and... It was just it was just a lovely spot and a really good base for Litchfield National Park. Oh, so close. Um, so, we, you know, we went in there a few times because it was just so accessible. It was only 20 minutes down the road and you're in the swimming holes there. Yeah. Uh, so you can't get a better spot to base yourself for Litchfield. Yeah, it was a, a really good spot. Mm. We really enjoyed our time there. Yeah. And, and it, was, it was good value as well. So it was $35 powered mm. and uh, for us two. And then they actually charge an additional ten dollars for the dog, which is a bit unusual. Yeah, we've never had that anywhere yeah. actually. And um, you know, given there's animals and stuff roaming around, I don't really know why they charge an extra ten bucks for the dog. Um, just keep it at thirty-five flat for everyone. That would make it easier yeah. and probably a bit fairer instead of penalising you for uh, you know travelling with your dog. Yeah, I'm not sure he was using too much power or water. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> or any, he wasn't using any of the facilities, that's for sure. <laughs> no. And they are uh, talking on that, the loos were, they're really quirky there as well. Like the, um, the sinks were like kegs, uh, chopped kegs and everything like that. Mm. So it's just, it, it was just a really quirky, cool, chilled out place. And, yeah, it was great. And we could have, we stayed two nights and we were we were disappointed that we had to leave. We'd done everything we needed to do, but we could have just stayed an extra couple of nights and just chilled out at oh, the caravan park mm. and just drinking beers in happy hour. <laughs> yep, yeah, so that's our top five stays in NT. Um, that's not to say that we didn't have some of the good stays too. Yeah, we had loads of good stays in NT, some pretty dodgy as well. It's really, <laughs> really hit and miss in NT, but um, we would have loved to stay longer and explore a few other spots. Um, 
I think NT is definitely somewhere if you don't have a dog you're going to get to some better places yeah agree we were, po- we were quite restricted having Archie because um, there's so many amazing spots in national parks and stuff yeah. but what what we did see was still unbelievable yeah absolutely yeah there's a lot of camping options and I'd say we're not only restricted by Archie but we're also restricted by the size of our caravan mm. um, you know it's we, we tend to gravitate more towards the sort of caravan parks where we can get those big sites, level mm. sites, yeah. um, where we can get there on good roads. And yeah, there's there's definitely some opportunity to go back to NT, maybe with just the car and a tent next time. Yeah, and who give, knows? And give us your recommendations in the comments down below, guys. We want to know where's your favourite stay in the NT because there's such there's so many amazing places out there. Yeah, we'd love to hear other recommendations. Mm. Well, thanks for watching this episode again, guys, and I hope this helped you out on your NT trip next time you're traveling through. Yes, really good having you with us. Um, Look after yourselves, and we will um, enjoy the rest of our evening, I think. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Cheers.